Hey everybody, this is Perch, and we're reviewing a free comic. I mean, who doesn't love a free comic? Well, this comic is uh, is by it's by a Somos Community Care. It's a New York City-based network of uh, about twenty five hundred physicians that provide critical care to members of the Black, Latino, and Asian communities in New York City. And specifically, they partnered up with Marvel, and not just Marvel, but the Avengers at Marvel. They're their top team to create a comic book to spread awareness of the COVID-19 vaccine and encourage readers to become vaccinated. Now, before you get too excited, uh, this comic is basically, uh, you know, five pages long, I think, including the cover. Um, so it's not a big comic, um, but it is being given out for free. And it's called uh, Avengers, We Are Resilient. And they're going to put out posters and other material at events designed to educate people about the COVID-19 vaccine and provide access to it. I have one. Qu I have many questions, um, but one <laughs> we'll just yeah, we're going to review this comment. We can also get into it. Um, if the vaccine, the vaccine is very at this point has become easier to distribute. No, not easy. Like you can't just like, you know, set up shop in McDonald's. I mean, I, I guess technically you could if you had the right storage you know, facilities and it was clean and everything. But um, it seems like the amount of infrastructure work to put up posters and comic books and kind of raise awareness. Like I, I'm, I'm questioning the raise awareness at this point. Are people unaware that there's a vaccine out there? I, I, I uh, maybe maybe I'm mistaken. I'm not I'm not to. Uh, I'm not saying I, you know, I'm not saying I'm against the vaccine. I have the vaccine or I had it. I mean, it's in, it's in me somewhere. I, I'm, I'm uh, continuing to love and, and purchase Microsoft products. That's a joke. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I don't know that there's a lot of people who are unaware this thing exists at this point. It feels like, um, awareness is not our problem, but maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, they're going to run these events in New York city through uh, Hispanic heritage month, which will go from September 15th to October 15th. Um, the, uh, the, the, the founder, uh, co-founder, so Henry Munoz of Somos, Somos US, and also the owner of Funny or Die. Wait, what? Uh, okay. The owner of Funny or Die, which is a funny, um, I'm, I'm okay. Anyway, he says the road to recovery runs through the immigrant communities of color that have been hit hardest by this pandemic and left behind in a vaccine rollout marked by inequity and misinformation campaigns, being able to unite Marvel Entertainment with the trusting voices of the community, doctors of the Somos Community Care, and a public education campaign designed to drive awareness is a really big deal. The campaign symbolizes where art meets purpose and shows these people nationwide can come together and build community and look together in the future. So uh, this comic, this comic is uh, basically touted as uh, a, uh, if the Avengers will team up with healthcare workers to bring the vaccine to a Hispanic family living in New York. I, once again, um, I've mentioned this in other videos, but you feel like Tony Stark uh, could just like come up with a, some kind of, you know, using uh, Hank Pym uh, technology could make just micro drones that could just fly around and just inject people everywhere. Uh, against their will, yes. But I mean, Tony has done worse things, right? I mean, Captain Marvel, who's in this comic book, was arresting people before they committed crimes. You would think that they could like find that. I know the, the, the inhuman guy that they were using as a human detector uh, went off to go hang out, I think, with Eternity. But I mean, you could you could have him just kind of predetermine who wasn't going to take the vaccine. And Captain Marvel, um, who's shown a willingness to imprison people against their will, could just just for just, I mean, they're, they're superheroes. The, this team features Iron Man, Black Widow, Black Panther, Captain America, Captain Marvel, and the Hulk. With that team, they could just pull people down and give them vaccines. Uh, is that what's going to happen in this comic? Anyway, well, we, who knows? Let's get into it. We are resilient. Looks like they're fighting MODOK. So uh, not, not Trump MODOK, just regular MODOK and AIM. And I have to point out in this cover that... Um, it, it appears that the AIM uh, members there at the bottom of the page appear to be taking the whole virus and COVID-19 more seriously because they've got an entire face mask on. I mean, granted, Black Panther does. Iron Man does. Captain Marvel, like a big dope, uh, has her mouth and nose exposed, as does Captain America. Like the two of them are, are it's like the opposite of an effective mask. Black Widow's not bothering with anything. Hulk is just standing there with his giant mouth. Uh, MODOK is shown spitting. You can see little droplets of COVID-19 just spraying out from MODOK. So, 
I, I'm questioning the Avengers uh, commitment here. So far, the people who appear best buttoned up around this whole thing are Iron Man, Black Panther, and the and the enemy AIM soldiers. So anyway, we get into it, and our comic uh, takes us to, it looks like there's um, a Hispanic family, and they are um, heading toward the park where apparently a vaccination uh, center has been uh, put together. And um, the, the mom is concerned that her DNA is going to be stolen. And, and granted, you know, she's living in New York. So earlier this month in New York, the entire city was covered with black uh, venom goo and they were turned into the like king and black soldiers. So, I mean, her fears are not unfounded. I'm just saying uh, she, she's worried about where her DNA is going. Also, the fact that they're still living in New York that gets routinely destroyed in the Marvel Universe every couple weeks. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, at this point, I mean, maybe you don't care about the vaccination because it's like, I'm going to die anyway. I don't know. But um, but anyway, but oh my God, there's going to be some people in the comments who are going to want to explain the efficacy of the campaign. Please, this video is a joke. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just commenting on this fun comic and it's it's a joke. Please don't, don't, you, you, anyway, it will happen anyway. So anyway, this is the mom uh, argues with the son and daughter. Uh, she reveals the only reason she's going to get the vaccine apparently is because she wants to play bingo. So uh, they're not letting her in unless she has the vaccine. But overhead, the Avengers ship kind of flies in and suddenly Modoc appears and he announces, I woke up today and chose chaos. But once again, his entire group here, I mean, MODOK is some kind of, uh, you know, Cronenberg organism. So maybe as a synthetic kind of being, he can't get the vac he can't get the virus anyway. And it, it really appears that the majority, I mean, his entire army is fully outfitted with a full face mask with presumably filters in there. So it feels like AIM is, is I mean, AIM are scientists. They're trusting the science. The Avengers leap in, um, more than half of them unmasked, I mean, two thirds, and they are here to stop Modoc. So the Avengers jump in, and um, meanwhile, while they're about to have a fight, the doctor is explaining that uh, you know you should get vaccinated. Mom's like, I don't, you know, I uh, I can wait. I'm I'm no big deal. She's nervous about getting the vaccine, uh, but the doctor explains whether your status, uh, race, or if you have health insurance. Even if you have health insurance, everyone here is eligible. You can get the thing, uh, get the vaccine. Helps keep you and your community safe, says the doctor. I want to say, by the way, if you're reading this comic on the Somos website, which is where it's available, they have changed the icon um, from a arrow pointer to a red syringe with a little bit of what looks like blood leaking out the top of it. Um, it may be a heart. It's a little hard to tell. I don't, again, you're trying to encourage people to take the vaccine. I don't know that um, having your cursor transform into a... Uh, into a syringe um, is the best way to, to do that. But but anyway, what, what do I know? I'm not marketing. So the Avengers say Avengers assemble and they leap into the uh, the fight and they start attacking the people with masks on, meaning the AIM soldiers. Um, Iron Man makes a joke about uh, us fighting like an old married couple. And Modoc says, you're the last Avenger I would marry. He, he has his eyes set on uh, on uh, the Hulk, we, we know. Um, the only one who could take a Modoc is the Hulk. Anyway, so they easily defeat all the scientists and, uh, you know, kind of smash up their masks. I mean, Captain Marvel is shown here shooting laser blasts at the mask, which again seems like the exact opposite of the message that Somos is trying to promote here in terms of health and safety, but that's okay. Uh, Black Panther's kicking a mask off. Captain America's showing shields at people's faces. Um, while all this is happening, the uh, vaccines just keep happening. Like the Avengers are are having a fight like in the same block, but nobody is like this is a New York completely that has uh, given up on on personal safety. So they they just continue to kind of hang out and they get their vaccines. Um, they tell the uh, he gets his vaccine, gets a white sticker. Uh, I didn't get a white sticker anyway. Um, the boy is happy because he gets to go back to school. <laughs> Sure. Um, and then uh, finally, um, the uh, daughter gets the vaccine. What's interesting is they showed the son and the daughter getting the vaccine. The mom who was resistant to this, uh, they never actually show her getting the vaccine. Like for all we know, she could have, uh, you know, slipped out of this whole thing. Um, anyway, that's uh, that seems like an oversight here. Uh, she's talking to the doctor. The doctor's uh, 
you know, getting ready for it. But they, they, the one who's scared and, and concerned that this comic is actually trying to address, they actually don't show her getting the, the vaccine at all. So anyway, they do get the vaccine and then they're all happy because they get to go see uh, Nana for Christmas. And uh, the, the, the daughter says she's going to be fully vaccinated to see the live K-pop at the uh, convention center. And then um, the Avengers all eat uh, pupasas and they're, they're all happy. Meaning even the Avengers that had full face masks like Tony and Black Panther now remove their face masks to eat the, uh, the food and say we're all in this together. But clearly they're, they're not because they, they just beat up a bunch of scientists who were wearing masks. So I, again, that's, this comic is sending some very weird mixed messages. Anyway, there you go. So most vaccinations... Um, I mean, I have raised public awareness. I, I sure, uh, Dan Buckley, president of Marvel is very excited about that to promote vaccine awareness. And, uh, Marvel's done this stuff before, of course, uh, with different kind of public service things. But, um, I, I don't know. It, it's, I, okay. Um, good, good thought, but, um, very, very comic. If you really read it, seeing some very strange messages about what's, uh, what's going on. But anyway, um, there you have it. Avengers, we are resilient you know, get your vaccine and get a, get a comic book. That's, that's what you're after. Don't beat up scientists with masks. It's the opposite of what you should do. The opposite Marvel. Jeez. Thanks for listening.